it's finally time to do a weight loss journey update and I'm so excited to just share with you guys everything that has gone on over the past five, almost six months. Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Delise and I am a full-time working mom of three and I am on a journey to lose weight. In today's video, I wanted to do a long-awaited five-month weight loss surgery update. So if you're new to my channel, you may not know this, but I had VSG, which is the gastric sleeve surgery, back in October. I have talked about this on my channel before. Uh, it was a really long process to getting the surgery. I finally had the surgery in October and I can't believe it's been only five months. It feels like forever ago. In actuality, it's really almost my six month surge anniversary. However, um, I haven't weighed myself since last month. So all of the information I give you guys today will definitely be more relevant to a five month weight loss update. So overall, everything with my surgery was 100% successful. Um, it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. I'm not gonna sit here and paint you a story of rainbows and butterflies and unicorns because it wasn't that simple. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into having weight loss surgery, both before you have the surgery and after you have the surgery, but it is 100% worth it. It has definitely taken a bit for me to become more accustomed to my new stomach, my pouch. Um, it's obviously smaller now, which is the whole point of the surgery. They kind of just snip it off and make it look kind of like a sleeve, but it has been great. I've lost 70 pounds, guys. 70 pounds in five months is crazy. It's crazy because I think mentally, I don't feel like I've lost that much weight at all. I definitely am still a bigger person. I definitely still have a ways to go, so I don't feel like I've lost 70 pounds. Like, how is that a thing? However, <laughs> the scale definitely shows that I have lost the weight and the mental stuff, that's a huge part of it. You know, most people think of just the physical um, part of losing weight, just seeing the progress, but mentally you have to really be prepared for that and you have to um, just make a mental change. And emotionally, it's a roller coaster. Um, I went through spouts where I just kind of regretted having the surgery. It was so much pain. It's so much work just to drink water is, you know, work. And so I had to really get accustomed to it and just find my groove before I could be thankful. You know, most of us don't magically become overweight. There's definitely a lot of times some emotional turmoil or some mental issue blockage that's behind it, you know, with behind the binge eating and all of those things. So getting mentally ready and changing that up and just fully preparing yourself for this whole entire journey is definitely a big part of it. And I feel like I have found myself in so many ways through this journey, just starting to find who I am, trusting myself more, trusting my body, knowing what I need, what I don't need. You know, sometimes, you know, if I'm working late at night, like I am now, I might feel like, oh, I want a snack to give me energy, but that's all mental. I don't need a snack. In all reality, I can have a cup of tea. I can drink a bottle of water, you know, anything like that. I don't need a snack. And I think that's a huge part of the growth I've had with this whole surgery thing. It's not all just the weight doesn't fall off. I will tell you guys that. Yes, it has come off quickly. It's not normal to lose this much weight this quickly, obviously. Um, and that's because of, you know, the physical change in my stomach. However, um, you still have to be strong-willed and follow the diet plan that your doctor recommends for you, your dietitian recommends for you. You know, I am not on any restrictions as of right now. Um, the doctor, the dietitian has just asked that I limit the amount of sugar and, you know, process carbs and things I take in, which I feel is something that everybody really needs to limit. It's not healthy to just eat and eat and eat sugars and processed carbs. So, um, so it's just a limit. I don't, you know, if we're having birthday cake, I don't not have any, I just don't have as, as much. And really I don't crave as much. I find that stuff 
too sweet, like way too sweet. I went through the holidays, had one or two treats here and there, but like I can't really handle sugar that much anymore. And I think that's because I was off of sugar for almost a year. Prior to having surgery, I had no sugar. So I think that's a big part of it. I'm not saying I've been perfect by any means, but I haven't given up and that's a big thing. I don't feel super restricted, which is helpful with my mental process because I feel like, I don't know if this is just a me thing, but if you tell me I can't do something, I'm gonna want to do it. Um, you know, you just kind of want it. So if you tell me I can't eat cake, cookies, donuts, whatever, ever again in my life, I'm gonna want it. You know, there's gonna be that part of me that's missing it. But because I know that I can have it if I want it, I just have to, you know, watch how much I have. It's not as restrictive and it's not as hard to keep up with. The biggest thing I've had to pay attention to over this journey of Weight loss surgery is my water intake and my protein intake. I can tell that I've definitely never been up to par with protein intake because when they told me how much protein they wanted me to get, it was a lot and it is still a lot. For me, it's very hard for me to get it. I do you drink um, protein shakes. I like the Premier Protein ones, specifically the chocolate flavor. I have tried other flavors as well. They're all pretty good, but chocolate has been my favorite so far. And I do have protein bars. I've been, um, I'm trying out right now the Built Bars, which I'm sure you've seen all over YouTube. I'm trying those out and um, I like them. They're pretty good. Didn't struggle before surgery with water intake. Um, I'm a teacher. I would drink, you know, 32 ounces throughout the school day and then fill that water bottle up and drink it, it again before I went to bed while I was running all the errands and back and forth to activities with my kids. However, after surgery, drinking water was probably the hardest part for me. It just did not feel good. It really did not feel good. And I find that more and more people that I talk to that have had the surgery have said the same thing. It just does not feel good when you drink the water, but I have gotten better with it. I'm still struggling. I'm still tracking it. I use my fitness pal to track how much water I drink just to make sure that I'm getting close to or at the goal that I need because water intake is so important and you definitely don't want to dehydrate. So I'm just, you know, trucking along. It's still a struggle guys, but I'm working on it. So in terms of working out, I found that I actually like have grown to love it, which I never thought would be me. I didn't think I would be the person that loved like lifting weights and doing toning exercises. I've always been more of a like a uh, aerobic type person. So I've liked like dance workouts and things like that, but I have loved doing toning workouts and I still do a lot of dance workouts and other types of um, workouts. I really like HIIT works workouts, which is high intensity interval training, which I never thought I would say those words. I do love them. And I just feel like I've found a place for me. It's a good stress reliever. Sometimes I'll do like a workout in the morning and then I'll work out again at night just to kind of relieve that stress as a parent, as a teacher, as a wife, and as a human being in this world. Sometimes you need that. So I can definitely do a video that's dedicated more towards the workouts that I do and the routines I follow for that. So if you would like to see something like that, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. A very exciting part about working out is, um, in January, I committed to walking 100 miles for cancer research and I raised money for that and I did it and I was so proud of myself. And so now I'm gonna do it again in May. I'm gonna be raising money for awareness to stop soldier suicide. So I just kind of find these challenges on Facebook and I join them and I really enjoy the challenge, but it's really great to have those miles in as well. And I will, I will this time add in the toning as well as the walking. In January, I just did the walking. So it will be great to do both things. Now, have I worked out since I had surgery? Not necessarily. I definitely walked a lot because they told me that walking would relieve a lot of the gas pain because you do end off with a lot of gas pain after surgery. So I did walk a lot. We would walk um, like as a family. Obviously, I couldn't walk like a long distance, but I would walk every day. And I find that I found that that helped and I walked every day since I've gotten home, but I didn't start adding in like the more rigorous workouts until probably Jan end of January, February time. So that's all the good news, the happy news, the great things that come with the surgery, just, 
you know, the mental, the emotional, the physical changes that you see, they're great. But there has definitely been some downs in this just five, almost six months since surgery. Um, I have stalled. I went a whole month where I didn't lose a pound and it was hard, but I, you know, spoke to my nutritionist, spoke to the dietitian, and just adjusted where I needed to adjust and realized that I just wasn't getting enough protein. I wasn't getting enough water and that really stalled me. It really didn't help. So just, you know, going through that process, making sure you're keeping in touch with your surgeon and your dietitian and the nutritionist and anything that your doctor's office provides for you is very important in this process because it is a roller coaster, guys. It is 100% a roller coaster and 100% the best kind. I have loved seeing my body change. You know, it does wonders for my mood, but when I, you know, comparison, <laughs> Comparison is the thief of all joy. And you know, when I compare myself to other people who have had the surgery, I feel like I'm losing weight at such a slower pace than them, or I just don't look as good as them. And that is very difficult to deal with because you know, I have already have an issue with my self-esteem. So I'm learning to just love myself and love my journey and trust my journey and trust my body. And I think that's something that is not going to come easy. Definitely. You know, I still struggle. I'm happy with where I'm at now. When I see pictures of myself self before and then after, I definitely am so proud of myself and happy of where I'm at. But you know, then I, I can criticize the pictures, you know, I can say, look, I still kind of have a double chin. I definitely still have a belly. Like there's so much, you know, my arms are still kind of jiggly. Um, there's so much that, you know, I can still criticize myself about. So, you know, surgery is not a fix all. It is a tool. We can use it to our benefit. It is very beneficial. It has been great for me because without it, there's no way I would have lost this much weight this quickly. However, it being a tool means that I have to use it the right way and I have to trust the process and just not compare myself to others. So losing the weight has definitely done wonders on my productivity. I am able to do so much more. I'm able to get down on the floor and play more with the kids and run around and do so much more. Um, and I feel great about that because it's one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to get surgery. And if you are new to my channel, you wouldn't know this, but I have fibromyalgia. I've been suffering with fibromyalgia for like six years now. And um, since losing weight, I have definitely had less flare-ups, which is amazing because fibromyalgia is a drainer. It drains you. And um, the less flare-ups have just been wonderful. So I guess it's probably time that I share the actual numbers with you because you guys have just been hearing me say, I've lost so much weight, I've lost so much weight, I've lost so much weight, but I haven't actually shared the numbers with you. This is something that I've gone back and forth on for so long. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna share this type of video just because weight is so personal and I've always been so ashamed of my weight that just sharing that on the internet is scary, guys. It's pretty scary, but if I can help one person who's feeling the way I have felt to find the confidence to look into surgery or to look into some sort of weight loss or just to, you know, motivate you to do anything, it's 100% worth it to me to put myself out there. So at my heaviest, just prior to surgery, I did gain some weight over quarantine. Just putting that out there. Um, <laughs> But uh, just prior to surgery, I was 313 pounds. There was a decimal point in there at some somewhere, but I don't remember it. 313, that's all that sticks in my head. Currently, I am 244.3 pounds. So right there, 70 pounds. It's crazy, right? So that is a big loss guys and I haven't been under 250 in probably 12 years probably since my second son was born so just being under 250 pounds is great for me my goal at the end of the day is to be under 200 pounds but but <laughs> I would just like to be healthy so however I am healthiest that's when I know that I will need to just maintain instead of lose um, I'm following my doctor's advice on that. Right now, their goal is for me to get to 200 pounds. 
I just need to get my BMI down. I need to continue to work on toning up my body. I am super afraid of loose skin. I don't have any yet. I have, I still have a fat belly and, you know, jiggly arms and things, but I'm so afraid of the loose skin and I know it's going to happen because when you lose weight this rapidly, that's just, you know, it, I think it's just part of it. But, um, yeah, so I don't have any plans for the loose skin now. I know that question's going to come up. I don't have any yet, so I haven't decided on what I'm going to do about that. And I really am just so excited to share in this journey. So this is kind of my kickoff video. I am going to be sharing things about the meals that I eat, the things that I do. So if you are looking forward to knowing all about that and just me sharing more about the surgery, more about the negatives and the positives of the surgery, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what exactly you'd like to see so that I know what to make first. And also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you guys again so much for watching and for supporting my YouTube channel. I cannot wait to share more about this weight loss journey with you guys. I love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.